Hello everyone. Today is 23rd of uh, December. Now it's 11 o'clock in the morning, Moscow time. And um, let's make one more video on this uh, channel and talk about some news that are making headlines in Russian media outlets. I will try to keep this video uh, short because, um, as I understand, uh, subscribers to my channel don't really like uh, long <coughs> videos. So. Well, I, I, I will try. Uh, first of all, I, I, I like to uh, ask you for uh, for help. Um, as you can notice, uh, this channel already almost reached thousand subscribers. So please, if you can share information about uh, my channel, share links of my channel or my videos with your friends. Uh, push that like button under this video and leave some commentary uh, that will also greatly help to reach by the uh, audience i will be very much grateful for uh, your support as i am always so that's been said um, let's uh, talk about some news so first uh, topic that i like to talk about is that um, yesterday uh, late afternoon Ukrainian uh, uh, journalist and politician in exile who is living now in one of the EU countries did wrote on his uh, telegram channel that by information that he has uh, obtained from military he didn't mention from which military uh, so by his information uh, Russian offensive from Belarus will start uh, night time uh, between 25th and 26th of uh, December. So let me show you his uh, Telegram channel and his comment. So that's it, man. Anatoly Shari, his name, he's a uh, quite fam famous uh, journalist and politician. Uh, he has huge channel, I mean, uh, huge following on Twitter. Twitter, on Telegram, on YouTube. You can see here he has uh, almost million subscribers on Telegram. So, and he does uh, share with the public quite interesting news time to time because he has some good sources. So uh, he also wrote in his uh, yesterday's <coughs> or already today because it was late afternoon. I mean, two o'clock in the night so technically it was today so he did it wrote uh, that uh, by his information uh, russian offensive uh, from belarus will start in the night time from 25th to 26th of december and direction of this offensive will be sarni and the kovel that's uh, north west side of uh, uh, ukraine as i understand uh, he also wrote that um, Russian forces may even uh, start offensive in direction of Kyiv and uh, Chernigov. So uh, there is no more details about it uh, on uh, in um, comment of uh, Anatoly Shari. But if this information is correct, then uh, in few days' time we're gonna see. Uh, so much anticipated Russian winter offensive that everyone is talking about. Me personally will be surprised if uh, Russia did start offensive from Belarus in uh, in uh, this time scale. I mean, from 25th to 26th because of December. Because uh, I'm not aware that Russia has enough uh, forces in Belarus to, con to conduct large-scale offensive operations, but as I said uh, many times before, I'm not military expert and um, I only have information from open sources, so it is what it is. Time will tell eventually what will uh, happen. That's the first topic that I like to 
I want to share with you. Uh, so let's go and check some other news that are making headlines. So I did open already a few media outlets uh, and a few uh, uh, news that are in headlines here. And uh, one of them is that uh, uh, Deputy Prime Minister of Russia uh, Alexander Novak did uh, said in an interview to Russian uh, channel, TV channel, Russia 24, that uh, Russian Federation will uh, stop uh, delivering oil to uh, countries that um, impose price cap on Russian oil. Uh, and um, that's quite uh, interesting in, in, in my opinion because uh, as you probably remember uh, Russian officials did make the statements uh, many times before uh, price selling on Russian oil was uh, imposed that uh, Russia will don't sell oil to any country that will impose this price cap and um, it's nice to see that uh, uh, Russian officials are keeping uh, their word it's it just you know that's way it's supposed to be you know in my opinion uh, alexander novak also says that uh, russia will probably reduce uh, its uh, oil input to the world market by 500 to 700 thousand barrels a day that's a quite significant reduction um, in my understanding and um, we may probably see some uh, rise of uh, oil prices because of it but yet again time will tell but this information in my understanding is quite an uh, important one I also uh, read the news today that uh, that uh, uh, there is uh, I also read the uh, news that you may find interesting that um, director of North, North American Department of uh, Russian Foreign Ministry uh, Alexander Darchiev uh, did uh, uh, made statement that uh, Russian side will don't talk about uh, security guarantees for Russia with the, with the West uh, as long as uh, NATO instructors and uh, mercenaries are uh, in, in the Ukraine. So why this is important? I mean, uh, even though there is um, much talk in uh, mainly in media outlets about um, necessity of uh, negotiations between Russia and, uh, and the West. Uh, it seems like Moscow is... Uh, Moscow don't want to spend time for, for no nothing because, uh, of course, uh, everyone do understand here that uh, as long as NATO is keeping its uh, influence on Ukraine, or let's say, uh, as long as NATO keeping its uh, forces in Ukraine, that may be uh, instructors or, or that may be private military companies. Um, it's foolish to talk with, uh, with, uh, with NATO and to the West uh, about any guarantees of uh, Russian security because they are endangering Russia right now by their presence in, in, in Ukraine. So uh, I do fully understand uh, this position of Russian foreign ministry and it's, uh, you know, one of those times when uh, I have no critique of, uh, of, uh, of them. Uh, what else, man? What uh, else? Um, as you can uh, 
may notice there is no much uh, great uh, or big developments in the, in, in the world right now. <coughs> of course, uh, uh, in Russian media outlets, you're still gonna see uh, uh, topics about Zelensky's visit in uh, USA. Some outlets are writing that this uh, this visit was uh, this visit was uh, mm, unsuccessful. Some are saying that this visit was partially successful. Anyhow, uh, as we all know, uh, the U.S. will uh, deliver to Ukraine uh, Patriot uh, air defense systems and. Um, at least for now, we, we do know for sure that uh, U.S. will uh, give to Ukraine uh, weapons for additional $2 billion. And in the near future, Ukraine may receive uh, 37 new help package uh, of uh, 37 to $40 billion. Huge amounts of uh, money, of, you know, American taxpayers are being thrown away by the uh, U.S. government, but uh, yet again, this is um, uh, this is an issue that uh, U.S. citizens uh, had to deal with. What else, man? It's already 11 minutes, as I said in the beginning. I want to make this video short, or I may even didn't say it, but. That's what I'm going to do. So, uh, in the end, I will, uh, I will uh, talk about uh, uh, assassination attempt of uh, Dmitry Ragozin, former head of uh, Roscosmos and deputy prime minister. Uh, as I did mention many times in my previous videos, I do consider uh, Dmitry Ragozin as one of the successors of the Putin. So this failed attempt of uh, Ukrainian side of Zelensky's Nazi regime to assassinate Ragozin, uh, one may interpret it, in, one may take as a uh, fight within Russian elite, and I will explain myself what I mean. If um, my prediction is right and Dmitry Ragozin really is considered by Putin, let's say, as a possible successor, quite possible that he has uh, some enemies within uh, Russian elite who don't really want him to uh, become, uh, let's say, prime minister first and then president. Of Russia, and if that's the case, it's quite possible that some someone did uh, give information to Ukrainian side about exact location of Dmitry Ragozin at the day when uh, his birthday party in Donetsk city was uh, hit. And as I understand, uh, even Dmitry Ragozin himself did made statement that uh, someone did. Uh, uh, give information to Ukrainian side about his uh, location. So who knows, man? We may uh, are witnessing beginning of uh, internal fight for power in uh, within Russian elites. Who knows, man? That's my guess. But uh, you know, I think. Uh, this guess is uh, based on quite, quite a logical uh, thinking. So it is what it is, man. It is, it is what it is. Um, as if you are interesting, Dmitry Ragozin will be flown to Moscow for uh, uh, some medical surgery because uh, he was evacuated to the city of Rostov, Nadanu. But it seems like doctors there did not risk to. Uh, um, conduct surgery. Probably they are afraid that, um, I mean, operation is, uh, the surgery is too difficult for them and uh, 
uh, today or tomorrow, Ragozin probably will be flown to Moscow, where uh, some top Russian doctors will uh, will do some surgery to remove uh, shrapnel from his uh, body. Anyhow, anyhow, this is it for uh, now. I hope you find uh, this video interesting, and if so. Please consider to share links uh, to my videos and to my channel with your friends. Uh, click that uh, like button and leave some commentary. As you can see, I'm always uh, engaged in comment section and uh, yeah, let's have exchange of opinions. Have a nice day and take care. See you tomorrow.